Hi friends, welcome to Abhi Tutorials. In this lesson, I will be covering file handling in Python. There are three basic operations which we can perform on any file. They are the read, write and append. The read operation can read from any file whether it's a text or a binary. Using write and append operations, we can write or append to a file. If there is any existing file, the append operation will add the content to the existing content of the file, whereas the write operation will replace the entire existing contents with the new content. Both the write and append operations will create a new file if the file does not exist. Before proceeding with the read, write and append functions, we should be aware of two important functions namely the open and the close functions. As the name indicates, the open function is used to open a file. The open function returns a file object that can be stored in the variable. Further operations on the file such as read, write, append or close can be done using the file object that you have created using the open function. The next function is the close function which we will use to close the file that we have created. Closing the file will help in releasing any system resources to be written back to the system. The syntax of the open function is as given here. The first parameter is the name of the file. If the file resides in the same path of the program, you just need to mention the file name. If the file is located in a different directory, then you will have to provide the full path. The second parameter is to determine the mode on which the file should be opened. There are multiple modes in which a file can be opened. The list of file access modes are as mentioned here. The basic ones are R for read, W for write and A for append. The other combinations are mentioned in the given table. The third parameter is optional. You can either add it or choose to ignore it. The buffer integer works only if you have opened the file in binary mode. If buffer int is set as 0, then it means that the buffering is set to offline. If it is 1, then the buffering works inline mode and it works only for text based files. If the buffer int is any number greater than 1, then the size you have specified will be the size of the buffer in bytes. If the buffer range is not specified, then Python's default buffering policy will be in effect. The syntax for the close function is as given here. As you can see, the close function is added after the file object which you need to close. Once we open the file using the open function, we can make use of two functions to read from the opened file. They are the read and the read line functions respectively. The read function reads the entire file by default. There is yet another syntax where you can also specify the number of bytes to be read from the file. The read line function reads a single line from the file. If you want to read multiple lines using the read line, you will have to specify the read line multiple times. For example, if you call the read line function once, it returns line 1 of the file. If you call the read line function next time, it will return line 2 of the file and so on. To get better results using the read line function, use it in a combination with a loop, that is using a while loop in combination with read line. When there is nothing to read from a file or of it reaches the end of the file, the read line will return an empty string. There is one more way to read from a file which is memory efficient and easy to use, that is using the for loop. In the example given here, we have opened a file name sample.txt in read mode. Now use the for loop syntax as given here. Here the line is a single line from the file and fobj is the file object. The loop continues till there is content in the file. This is more simplistic way to read from a text based files rather than to use while loop and the read line function. 
Now we will look into the write and append operations. The write or to append to a file, we have to open a file in either a write mode or in append mode as specified here. Or you can make use of the other file modes as mentioned in the table. Opening the file in write mode will always create a new file. If your file already exists, the W mode will replace the old file with the new file. If you open a file in append mode, the existing file will not be replaced. Instead, the new content will be added to the end of the existing file. Both the write and the append mode will create a new file if there is no existing file. We also have a function named write off which is used to write a string to a file once it is opened using the append or the write mode. An example for how to use the write function is as given here. Now let's move on to the demo on file operations. Now let's see examples of how we will perform file operations in Python. In the first example, we will see how to read a file in Python program. Let me create a new file named example1.py. Create one more file named sample1.txt. We will add some sample content to the sample1.txt file. Save the file by pressing Ctrl S. In example1.py, we are going to write a code to read the content of sample1.txt programmatically. As a first step, we will use a open function to create a new file object and pass the file which we are supposed to read as the first parameter. In this case, it is nothing but sample1.txt. And pass the character R as the second parameter since we are going to read the file. Now assign the function to the variable named f1. Here I am giving just a file name because the program resides in the same path as that of the file. If the program and the file to be read resides in different path, then you may need to give full path. Now you can use the read function of the f1 object to read the content of the file and enclose it within the print function to display the content of the file. Save and run the program. You will be able to see the content of the file displayed in the console. In certain scenarios, you may need to read the file line by line. In such cases, you have to use the read line function. Let's see an example of how to use the same. I am creating a new file named example2.py. Similar to the previous example, I am opening the sample1.txt file in read mode. Now use the f1.readlineof function and enclose it within the print statement. Now save the file and run the program. You will be able to see first line of the program being read and displayed in the console. To read further lines, you can repeat the same statement once again which will print the second line of the sample1.txt file. Run the program again. You will be able to see first two lines displayed in the console. This is not a good approach to read files because files may contain multiple lines and we cannot add the read line for each of the lines in the file. The solution for this is to use a loop. Let's now see how to use a while loop along with the read line. Create a new file example3.py. Open the sample1.txt in read mode and assign it to the variable f1. Now create a variable s and assign the relay function of f1 to the variable s. This statement read the first line of the file. Create while loop.
print the value of s using the print statement now within the while loop you can once again assign the value of f1 dot read line to the variable s we add this so that all the other lines also can be read save and run the file as displayed on the output we will be able to read the lines of the file one by one using read line function with the combination of while loop we also can use the for loop to read lines one by one from a file i am creating a new file example4.py similar to the previous examples i am reading the file sample1.txt in read mode and assigning to the variable f1 now i can use the for loop print the value of line using the print statement save and run the file as you can see the content of file is printed in the console using for loop is the easiest way to read any file line by line now let's see how to create or write to a file i am going to create a new file example5.py i am going to use the similar syntax as before but here i am going to change the name to sample2.txt and i am going to change the mode to w now you can use the write function of the file object and pass any string the string you pass within the function write will be written to the file let's save and run the file you can see the sample2.txt file is created open it you will be able to see the content displayed there is a problem in the write mode if i change the string that i pass to the write function for example save and run the program open sample2.txt as you can see the content which i have previously added will be replaced with the new content if you want to retain the previous content along with the new content then you have to change the file mode to a now i am changing the file mode to a and add some different details in write function save and run the program open sample2.txt and you will be able to see the new content appended to the previous content that ends this lesson thanks for watching our video stay tuned and please like subscribe to our channel thank you